Hey guys, welcome back to BB A to Z. Uh, in our last video, we uh, went through how you can uh, delete the record sets in the SharePoint uh, table. Um, the you know we went through you know a way to loop through each of the record set and delete them for the criteria that was passed in our SQL. Uh, in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to pass a command that is uh, updatable command. Um, so here we are putting a select command but uh, we can directly put a delete command directly from here and run it so I'm just gonna you know show a small demonstration I'll just make a copy of this and I'll just uh, create a new module and I'm just gonna clear off all this because it's irrelevant now but we need to set up the connection but then we'll say delete we'll say instead of select we'll say delete all from from this table and then uh, from this uh, our table here and then our criteria let's say that uh, we want to delete everything that uh, where the item is no I think these are all kind of unique so let's say we want to delete all the items where category is equal to facility okay so we'll say delete all from this table where uh, category category is equal to facility put this in single code okay in our uh, future videos we'll try to you know uh, introduce you to SQL SQL as you know like uh, it's used in all you know uh, programming languages and then uh, you can uh, learn this very easily from WB school, tree school as well, and um, from uh, from your access database as well. It's a good resource where you can directly visualize your data uh, and see how it works. Uh, but uh, SQL statement are like uh, like a simple sentence. It's it's uh, you know you can directly read it and understand this. Simply saying that delete star is all basically all the items record sets from this table and then uh, the table or the objects are um, you know um, you are identifying them with putting the you know square brackets where the category is equal to this particular filter so it's pretty simple to you know uh, you know understand them now with this connection I want to say connection dot execute and then uh, I'll say my SQL what I want to execute is my SQL and then affect the records if you want to trace I missed the AD okay so if you try to make changes debug it it's good so if I run this code now it's gonna directly execute this particular SQL and then delete all the items here which are you know um, equal to facility okay so let's try to run this I'll just go ahead and uh, run this code it's done there was no error so let's refresh this and you see that all the you know items which are equal to fa facility are you know uh, record sets are deleted so this is uh, another way of you know doing a bulk delete uh, instead of going to you know each record set and then deleting each of them however if you open a record set uh, like a table and then you have to go through each of them and then do a multiple you know checks and then uh, do deletion you know it depends on scenario so this is one way of doing it and then uh, this second part this is another way of um, doing it okay so I hope uh, you found all these uh, uh, the videos that we podcast here are uh, you know um, useful and informative um, requesting you to like the video and subscribe to my channel if it has helped you and then we hope to make more of these videos in the future so thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye bye